One of the top questions I get these days is Miss, what's the difference between flux, flux density and flux linkage all confused together already? Okay, so let's sort it out today. Let's say I draw a nice bar magnet. Can I have a nice shape? All right, let's put a nice bar magnet here. I'm on one side, I'm going to put north, I guess. And on the other side, I'm going to put a south. Now, when you want to draw the magnetic field, what do you do? You draw lines, right? Nice lines. So they're going to look something like this. Middle, I'm going to draw it straight. The side, a little bit curved. And these are actually circular, kind of like circular fields. So it actually can loop around. Here also can loop around. And one more here and one more here. I think I should draw a few more. Okay, let's draw a few more. So this one is what we say the magnetic field in general. Now what I'm about to tell you, are, these are not official definitions. So don't write this. Go and learn your official Cambridge definitions, okay? All right. Uh, so flux is basically the lines. Like how many lines are there? If there's many, many lines in the area, there's a lot of flux though, that you see here. Wow, so many lines very close together. Flux, lots of flux. More lines, more flux. That's it. The stuff, the, the magnetic field. But then that's not a very good way to quantify it. We can't keep counting lines. How many lines are there for this magnet? You can't see them in real life. What were you talking about? So that's why, instead of just talking about flux, when we are coming to calculations, we use flux density. People are very clever. They say, let's create this B, which is a better way to quantify how strong the field is without counting the lines one two three four like how you know how many lines to draw hey, so flux density is saying okay so we have some flux how much of this stuff is in a uh, area Ooh, what does that mean so let's say i put a coil now i put a coil on this side i guess it should go around behind also okay this coil has a certain cross-section area that is the A in the area. Okay, so this is the area of whatever like, you want to measure a certain area. Just choose a shape and find the area. I chose a circle because we see coils a lot. So how much of those lines pass through the core? That really is how you can quantify this uh, flux density. Of course, with the in the in real life, we usually use the equation phi equals to b times a because we don't really know why it's phi but we can measure b so we take, take b times the cross-section area but flux is saying how much per unit area in this area so the last thing then flux linkage what is flux linkage you need to link something together what are we linking so you see here i only draw one coil or one turn but oftentimes in magnetic fields you will have what we call solenoids like this Many, 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 many turn. Oh. I squash everything and I say, nah, this one is many, 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 many turn. So by right, you should also multiply the effect. So if I take many, many turn and put one more here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The area is still the same, but your flux linkage is kind of like the total. Total flux through this area. True. This is unofficial for the don't write this in the exam. So total flux through area, you need to just take, oh, for one coil, you have flux. That's my one coil. One coil, you just use phi. Then if there's many, 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 many turns, you just take n turns times phi. And that really is what we call flux linkage. It is how many turns of a coil or how many loop are there inside this thing. So, that's it, anymore. So the main thing you need to know is flux linkage, often used in transformers, because you need to consider when you draw this, you know, this thing on this transformer, you have many turns of the coil, many turns of the coil. If there are turns, you need to consider flux linkage. Flux density is the other equation you need to know, which is this one. Flux density in terms of flux and area, the cross-section area where the magnetic field goes through, which is right here, this area. And flux, there is no calculation because we, we can't just count lines, but we will use this in terms of explanations. You use the word flux a lot. If there's many turns, use 
flux linkage. If there's one turn, you just use flux. It's okay already. Lah. All right. So that's hopefully clarifying some of these three terms very commonly used. They're definitely related, but they mean something a little bit different. But that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.